Hi guys, Del here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at chainsaws. So I'm going to quickly show you a cheap budget chainsaw that you can use around and about your camp. Um, whatnot. I would stress that it is important to get your chainsaws operator's license. Um, I believe I believe if you're going to use one that you should have it just so that you, you, you're aware of how, how they work. So we're going to be looking at the Mitox CS45. We'll take a look at that just now and then um, I'll show you some features of it and how to start it. So here we have the Mitox CS45 petrol chainsaw. It's a good chainsaw. Um, they retail for about £185. I do use uh, still and Husqvarna but this is just my spare just now. So it's a meat what's classed as a medium sized chainsaw. So a little bit about it. Um, it's good overall, it's, it pushes out a, about 2.4 horsepower, um, it's a two-stroke, so it's got a chain pitch, a 325, it's written on a bar, it runs an Oregon 18-inch bar, as you can see, the 3.25 is the pitch, um, the pitch of the chain itself. It's got a half a litre fuel tank, and it's got a chain oil, so that's your fuel, and that's your chain oil. They are, they are good saws. Um, I think it's really good. Oregon's really good kit too. So a little bit more about it. You've got your brake, your blade brake. I'll show you how to operate that in a minute. This one is fitted with the Japanese carburetor system. Um, has a choke, a primer bubble and a decompression. So a little bit more about it. But as always on, no matter what, that's your lifeline. These are very dangerous tools. Um, probably the most dangerous thing that you will actually use. So we'll go through its operating procedure and I'll show you how to start it and then we can look at other things later on in different videos. So firstly the system itself it's manually oper oper operated it does tell you it's an easy start system so we'll take a look at that. So check you've got fuel Check you've got chain oil. The chain oil keeps the chain lubricated and keeps it at temperature cool so it stops it uh, jamming up um, with wood shavings and things like that. So initially, for when we're first starting these, I like to um, I like to, to keep the, the chain the chain brake off. Reason being is I don't want too much stress on the clutch. The, the clutch is the main thing, stops it, it breaks the breaks the chain when it's operating. So when we go to start up first of all we'll um, we'll keep that off and then we'll put it on straight away once it's running at temperature. So we've got a simple enough toggle switch stop start we'll make sure it's on start and then we've got a primer bubble I'll just show you that stop start primer choke okay now it does have a decompression I don't use decompression simply because I know this, this right there. I know how this saw operates and I don't actually need to use it. Um, it is a good running saw. You can use it on higher compression engines. You will use it. It's like starting a still disc cutting saw really. But like I say, I've found with this machine, I don't use it. It's got a foot plate on the handle. I've seen too many people yanking it with the hands and things like that. It's got a foot plate. It's designed to put your foot in it to start it so that's what we will do just turn your hand a wee bit there so what we're going to do is put the toggle to on we're going to prime it five times is enough on that we won't need a choke we've had it running and temperature so we're not uh, we're going to put it on the ground and operate it as it should be so we've got the on off so just now let's set to the on position. We're going to prime it. Five pumps. We don't need the choke and I don't need to decompress. We're going to put it on the ground. We're going to make sure around the chain is fine. Um, there's nothing in it. Now remember I said I take the brake off to start with simply because I don't want stress on the clutch. So the correct way to do it is to put it on the ground, put your foot through the handle area as you can see okay and then we just start it and we give it a little rev and then the brakes on 
So as you can see, when I operate the brake, it's just a movement of your hand. See how quickly that, that started? It's a great bit of kit for its budget price. So operating the, bra the, the blade brake, I use my wrist. It's straight on, straight off all the time. Um, get habit forming into putting it on every moment it goes. Chainsaws only operate at two speeds, off and full throttle. So we'll just I'll just show you that again, how quickly that is to start. Correct procedure. Stop start. Primer, choke, on the ground. When it's on the ground, check for no debris or obstructions. Start it, river. Brakes on, chin won't move. If you get movement on that chain uh, with the brake applied, then um, your clutch needs changed on it. So that was a quick look at the Mitox CS45, £185 is retail for. I like it. This is just my budget one. Um, I use as a backup when they're still um, and Husqvarna's getting repaired, which they are just now. I hope that was a quick look for you guys, just on that and how to operate it safely. Remember your PPE all the time. Use the correct PPE. And uh, correct PPE all the time. Jegging, uh, tra uh, leggings, boots, gloves, safety glasses, helmet with visor. So stay safe out there everyone. Keep prepping. Prepper Dale out.